several of her families of puppies. They love dogs and like to play with them, so their home is a nice place for dogs to live. The newest and littlest puppy is Terry, who still can't even walk straight. She was the only one in Mother Mac's last family and likes to stay close to her mother, where she feels safe. Donnie loves his little puppy. When Terry was a tiny puppy, before her eyes were open, she had to find her mother by her sense of smell. She tried and tried to nurse, but Mother Mac had been ill and didn't have enough milk for her baby. Mother Mac felt unhappy because she couldn't nurse her baby as she has always been a devoted mother. Puppies open their eyes when they are about 10 days old. Donnie thought Terry was the cutest puppy Mother Mac ever had. Aunt Polly knew just how to hold the baby, gently but firmly, with plenty of support for the soft little bones. She was careful not to play hard with a puppy because it is not good to handle a baby dog very much. Aunt Polly fixed a bottle of warm milk for the puppy. Terry was hungry, but it seemed as if she would never learn to take her milk from a bottle. But Aunt Polly was patient. Mother Mac watched with interest. And finally, Terry got the idea. Most puppies take milk from their mothers until they are six weeks old. While they are still nursing, they learn to eat other foods. Terry didn't like the sun and wanted to find a cool place to take a rest. So Mother Mac led her to a shady spot under the chair, while Uncle Bobo watched approvingly. With good care and lots of food and rest, Terry began to grow rapidly. Now she is old enough to drink from her own clean dish, but she still has trouble making her legs go in the right direction. She is braver though, and with her mother nearby, likes to explore the garden. Mrs. Dowell carefully teaches the boys how to hold the puppy. Now, careful, Donnie. You mustn't squeeze the puppy or pick her up around her tummy or by the back of the neck. Doug pats her gently. Now, remember, you must support the whole dog and never pull her by her legs. Mrs. Dowell understands that puppies are like children and need lots of affection to grow up with a good disposition. Donnie knows that he mustn't tease the puppy or be rough with her, but it's hard to remember to pick her up the right way. He is so anxious to play with her that he forgets that puppies must be handled carefully. To teach the puppy to go on the leash, Mrs. Dowell first puts one on Mother Mac, so that Terry can see that her mother is not afraid. And then it's Terry's turn. Just imagine being pulled by your neck. Terry doesn't like it. But Doug is gentle and encourages Terry to take a few steps. Such a strange thing around her neck frightens her and she runs to her mother. So the boys give her a rest. They know that it takes time for a puppy to learn new things. There is so much to understand. Dogs naturally like people and want to please them. 
They're often called a man's best friend. Come on, Terry. Try it once more. That's a doggy. But Terry is pretty tired. Well, that's enough for the first lesson. Donnie gets the puppy a drink of cool water. Doug thinks she is hungry, too. So Donnie brings her some baby food mixed with milk. She is still such a little baby that she eats four times a day. <laughs> Mother Mac likes her doghouse, and Mrs. Dowell asks the boys to do a little house cleaning. They start by removing Uncle Bobo and the little puppy. Then they sweep and clean, inside and out. It is important for a dog to have a warm, dry place to sleep in, in cold weather, and a nice cool place in summer. This house of Mother Max is exactly right. Mrs. Dowell is pleased that the boys, as well as the puppy, are learning that it's fun when you work together. It is pleasant for a dog to go into a nice, clean house. When Terry is three months old, a nurse from the dog hospital comes to give her a shot. The boys are afraid that it will hurt Terry. But the nurse explains that most people who raise dogs think it is wise to give a distemper shot. There, it's over in a second, and will prevent the puppy from getting sick. Terry doesn't mind at all. She likes the attention. The nurse gives Doug a card to show that Terry has had her first shot. And in two shakes, Terry is as lively as ever. The littlest puppy is not so little anymore. She is big enough to hold her own with Mother Mac and Uncle Bobo. Dogs need plenty of exercise. And it is important for Terry to learn to fight so that she can protect herself and her family. She may have to be a watchdog someday. Terry is hot and knows where she can get a drink. Ah, what nice, cool water, right out of the faucet. Hey, it's fun, too. At this age, a puppy chews everything within reach, even her own dish. She knows that it's dinner time, so Doug takes the hint and fills her dish. And she has a good appetite, a sign of a healthy dog. Donnie's pet turtle, Tommy, has taken first prize at school in a contest for the most unusual pet. The dogs, too, think that Tommy is unusual. Doug teaches them not to tease Tommy. The turtle keeps his house with him and can curl up inside if the dogs bother him too much. His shell is a big protection. Tommy may live a long time because turtles sometimes live to be 200 years old. Tommy moves slowly, but he takes very good care of himself. Now that Terry is older and the weather is warm, Mrs. Dowell says it is all right for the boys to give Terry her first bath. The water is just right, not too warm, not too cold. The boys are careful not to frighten the puppy because they want her to like her bath. They are careful to keep the soap out of her eyes. Dogs should not be bathed too often but they should be kept clean and healthy with daily brushing. 
Mother brings a special shampoo and shows the boys just how to rub the little dog. She is glad that Doug and Donnie try so hard to take good care of their puppy. Finally, a good rinsing and a thorough drying so that Terry won't catch cold. Doug and Donnie have had lots of fun watching Terry grow up to be a happy, intelligent dog. And this littlest puppy has had fun learning good manners and how to get along with the boys. Wouldn't you like the littlest puppy for your very own 